Hi guys, this is the first tutorial for the crochet flower purse. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to make the circle of the flower and to start making the flower and start connecting it. For this tutorial, tutorial you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter hook or a size 9 UK or a size E for the US. So when you get your yarn, this is medium worst weight yarn. If you have a light worst weight yarn, which is the number three, it works better for the middle of the flower. So if you see a light worst weight yarn in the color that goes good with the, the purse that you want to make, then I suggest getting it for the center of the flower but it's going to make the purse a little smaller but it's going to make the petals of the flowers stick out more so but if you have uh, the regular medium worst weight yarn that's fine too I've made many purses with it so if you have the medium size worst weight yarn which is the normal size chain four and if you have the light weight worst weight yarn number three then you want to chain three because it's going to make that uh, hole smaller. Slip stitch in the beginning chain to form a ring and then chain one. Now you need to do 17 double crochets in the center of this ring. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and as you see I keep pulling down to make more space here to work with. Sixteen, and 17. Just make sure I always count my stitches because it's very very important with these centers that you have the right amount. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, I'm sorry, I have an extra one. No. I don't. That's the chain one space, so I have 17. This chain one space, you'll kind of be working over it some. And that's great. So this is the chain one space. You want to skip that and slip stitch into the first double crochet. And that is the circle of the flower. Chain one and then cut your yarn. I'm not going to use my, uh, necessarily the purse colors. I'm just going to use these colors because they may show up better on the camera. So what you want to do to start making the petals is go ahead and attach it to the same space here that you fastened off by slip stitching and chain 10 7, 8, 9, 10 now you want to slip stitch into this next one, next stitch and then chain 10 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And continue that around, slip stitch, chain 10, slip stitch, chain 10, until you get all the way to the beginning of the flower, and you should have 16 petals. Okay, when you have your first flower done, and you have all 16 petals, this will be the only flower that's actually complete. The rest are going to be joined onto this one, and then the other flowers around it like this. So this originally was my first flower and then you start to connect and for the first row I'm going to show you how to connect all your flowers along the first row and if you're making a small purse which I'll be doing for this tutorial you need to have seven flowers across the top and five flowers going down so seven horizontal and five vertical for a total of 35 flowers. So I'm going to show you how to make the connection with the first flower here. Okay, what you want to do is start making your second flower just like you did the first one. Only stop at row 14. So when you get to your 14th flower don't connect it. So I'm at 11 right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's fourteen. Okay, so it's uh, number fifteen that you don't connect. Fourteen, you do connect. How you can tell is that you're going to need to do for the last two stitches are going to be the ones that are connected to the flower. So when you get to the end of the chain on fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the tenth, I mean the fifteenth petal. What you want to do is cut your yarn. As you can see, I have about that much left. Once you make the chain, basically all you're gonna need to do is make one more chain. So just leave enough yarn to finish that chain. What I do usually is I'll go ahead and finish the flower or chain 10 and then chain the other 10 so I'll chain a total of 20 and then I'll leave myself about that much yarn and then I'll cut it and then I'll take out 10 of the chains and then do my weaving so what you want to do is stick this chain through one of the petals like that pull your string through, put your hook back in, and now you want to slip stitch onto your petal again, your original flower you're working on. Then you want to do another chain 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you want to do it again into the petal to the left of the last one you just weaved into. Weave your next chain through and then slip stitch to finish that petal. Then chain one and pull through. And these ends I usually cut, you know, about that much in an inch or so. And then I'll grab the stitches on the back of this flower here, go underneath, and pull it through. I 
is I do that three times. And then I'll cut, I'll pull like I always do with all my projects. Make sure that it's going to have some excess on the other side here. And then I'll cut it. So that's how you connect the first flower to your main flower. And then you will continue doing this for the rest of the flowers for this row, which for a small purse will be seven. Okay, when you get to the second row here, you connect this flower exactly the same way by uh, using the last two chains of the flower, so number 15 and 16. So let's get there. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, okay, now that's fifteen. The important thing here is that you want to leave two loops in between where you connect. It's the same thing for this one. When you connect here, you're going to want to leave two. It's important because you're going to, at the end, you're going to have a connector piece in between there. Just like this. See, each flower that's connected has the, has two petals in between. So skip two petals and then weave just like you did the first time. Slip stitch to your flower, chain 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Weave into the next petal. Slip stitch, chain one, and then weave in your end. I, I do the weaving on the end every time I finish a flower so that at the end I don't have to go back and weave all of them in at once. That would really suck. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to show you now how to connect an inner flower. You'll have to uh, connect this way. For the top row and for the side row only. All the rest of the flowers are going to be connected this way. And like with these, how you stopped after the 15th and you just didn't connect it, this one you'll do to the 11th. So you do 10 and then you chain 10 for your 11th petal, but then cut and you'll need quite a bit of yarn because you're going to have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven petals. Okay, so what I usually do is I grab this part and then I just stretch out my arms. And I know you can't see, but as far as you can, like you're about to give somebody a hug. Okay? Just like stretch your arms like you're about to hug somebody as wide as you can, and then I cut it. And it usually ends up to be about a meter and a half. <clears throat> so, what I do is after I get to that end, you know, I'll do my, my arms to both sides as far as I can. I'll grab it, it'll be like maybe that much, and then I'll, I'll leave just a little bit extra, and I'll cut it. And it should be enough. I don't know how long your arms are, but try it. And if it's not good enough, it's too short or something like that, then 
learn to, to adjust, you know, know that you have to make it that much bigger or that much smaller. It's up to you, but it, it's a learning process. That way you don't have to worry about measuring it every time. Okay, so your 11th petal here, you remember you have to leave two separate open petals. So then you move to these two. Go into this one, obviously, because the next one is going to be to the left, because you crochet to the left. So for now, you've got three loose petals. So slip stitch, chain 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Weave into the other petal. Slip stitch and now chain 10. Now for this petal, you're creating those two loops that go in between the connection pieces. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chain 10, slip stitch, chain 10, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slip stitch, creating the two loops, and then now you chain 10. And now, leaving two here to connect in the center, you take this third one down, connect the flower. <coughs> Slip stitch and chain 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <coughs> connect, next petal. slip stitch, chain one, and then you'll want to weave in your end, ends through the back. And that's how you'll be making the rest of the flowers that go, you know, on the inside of the bag. So like I said, you'll be doing just the top row where you're connecting to, and then the vertical one you'll be connecting to along the side, but the rest will be like this. And a tip is that since most of them are going to be middle ones, I just, I went ahead and I usually go and I make all my circles, which for this purse I'm going to be making a small, so I made 35 circles. And then I choose my color, whether it's going to be a multi one like this, or your main color and just make 10 petals with the 11th one open so that you can connect it in the middle. So if you decide that you want this color to be on the side or the top, you just add those petals and then connect it wherever you want. But you know that at least you're good if you leave it on 10 and the 11th one open. So I made all of mine like that and then I can decide where I want it on the bag and it just cuts down so much time for me just get all the work done and then I can just start doing all my weaving so I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and the tips have been helpful and let me know if there's something that was unclear because uh, I really want to teach you guys how to do this so thanks for watching and stay tuned for tutorial number two.